Hello there, this is Jay from JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials for interior designers and architects. In a previous video, I was talking about how to start the hatch command in AutoCAD, and I talked a little bit about how to scale the hatch so that way it can show up properly in your drawing or project. And in this video, I'll continue talking about the hatch command, but this time I will be discussing the different hatch elements that we have and talk a little bit more about it. Okay? So again, we can start the hatch command from here. I'm going to click on this icon and we get the ribbon. And we use, we use this hatch. This is the default hatch in AutoCAD. It's called ANSI 31. You can actually change the pattern that you use or the hatch. I, I, I say hatch, but I also mean pattern. Uh, from this area, you can choose the different hatches available in AutoCAD. If you click on this arrow, you will see the different ones that are available. Okay, and if you click on this arrow right here, it will expand the list to even show some more of them. And then you can slide with this bar right here and you can see the different ones. And you can even actually click on this button right here and then expand the whole list uh, this way. Um, I like to do this just so I can see the entire collection that I have available uh, in my drawing or project. But for now, I'll bring it back to that and I'll click somewhere here. Okay, so... Uh, I mentioned before, I'm going to go back up in the list, and I mentioned before to you that I'm create when I'm creating the hatch here, the hatch is coming out to be uh, almost solid, like it looks solid, and that's not what I want. It should look like a 45 degree lines, and to fix that, we need to fix the scale. Now, for this to work properly uh, from the beginning, I should type here the scale, I should change it, let's say, for example, to 8. And now this uh, this pretty much create the hatch properly and it's in the proper scale. And then when I close the hatch creation and then start the hatch command again, now AutoCAD will remember that I chose 8, the scale of the hatch. And then again, if I do it here, it will put it properly. All right. And I'm going to close this. I'll start it one more time, but this time let's do another hatch. Let's say this one. I'm going to click on it. And here I'm going to do this. And you can see that this hatch or this pattern is properly visible under this uh, this is scale value 8. Uh, and again, on, on your end, it might be different. 8 might be very big or might be too small. So you want to consider, you want to see, you want to see what's the proper value for each hatch pattern that you have. All right, and I'm going to close the hatch pattern. I'm going to select these guys and I'm going to delete them. And I want to show you some more hatch patterns. I'm going to click here. So uh, here you saw these two hatches or two patterns that we've used. Uh, but I also want to show you in general what kind of patterns are available in AutoCAD. And mainly there are three different kind of patterns. One is solid, which is literally the first option here. And then I'm going to choose it here. And I'm going to click close hatch pattern and then start it again. Uh, the other one is these patterns that we've been seeing. And I'm going to expand the list again. And you can see there's many of them. Let's actually expand some more. Okay. And there's more of them here. Okay. Then let's say I choose, for example, this one called Earth to represent the Earth material. Okay. And I'm going to close the hatch. And then I'm going to start it again. And the third type I want to show you is basically the gradient. So AutoCAD has also a gradient option uh, for a pattern or a hatch. Let's say we choose this one, the sphere. Then I'm going to click it inside this triangle. And the way the gradient hatch in AutoCAD works, it basically has two colors. And you can choose or change these colors from here, uh, blue and yellow. So instead of blue, I will tell it to show me uh, gray, for example. And here we go. We get this result. And then I'll switch yellow to this more orange. And now I will get this result. And I click close hatch pattern. And here you go. You have in AutoCAD mainly three types of hatches. You have solid, you have, uh, I guess, patterns pretty much, and then you have gradients. So depending on the situation, you will use different ones.